All right, so today we're making bacon, and this is a really simple process. All you need is some pork belly. We get ours from a local farm that raises organic uh, pigs. Uh, so this is one of our pieces. I cut it into smaller pieces just so that it's easier to actually work with. This here is about two and a quarter pounds uh, or about a thousand grams of pork belly. And then to cure this, I'm actually gonna use a cure that doesn't use any nitrates, any um, prog powder, number one or number two, no celery salt, nothing, just simple salt and sugar. And so to make the cure, I actually keep a jar of it uh, like this in the pantry at all times. Um, and what this is, is a mixture of two parts salt to one part sugar. And you need about a 3% ratio whenever you're curing the actual pork belly. So here, since this pork belly is a thousand grams, uh, we need about 30 grams of the cure or 3%. And so what that works out to is about 20 grams of salt and 10 grams of sugar. And I've added some black pepper here just for taste. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this up, rub this all over it, uh, and then we're good to go. Yeah, so now I just take our seasoning. We're gonna sprinkle it over top pretty generously, and then we're gonna rub it in and make sure we get all of the sides. I'm gonna flip it over, do the other side. I also, I like to do this right near the sink so that I can put the dirty dishes in there right away, not spread all of the meat juices over. And then make sure we get the sides. I have a little bit more. And again, we wanna use all of this because we've weighed it out. And then once that's done, we're gonna to wanna to put it into a plastic bag. Uh, and then it's gonna sit in the fridge for seven days. About halfway through, so three days in, we're gonna flip it over in the fridge uh, and then we'll smoke it on the weekend. Yeah, and there she is. Uh, the one on the right is a test one that we're doing where I added some garlic and herbs and we'll see how that turns out. You can see the little bits of garlic there. Uh, and yeah, it takes seven days. Three days from now, I'm gonna flip it over and then we're going to smoke them on just a regular barbecue. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how that works whenever, whenever we get there. All right, so it's been a week since we brined the pork the first time. And now before we smoke it, I'm just gonna rinse that salt and sugar solution off of the surface of the meat. It's already done all of its job. The meat is fully cured, it's fully salted all the way through. And so now just to make sure it's not too salty or too sweet, we're just gonna rinse the rest of that off. And now once I rinse the rest of it off, what's really important is that we dry it well, um, and then we're gonna let it sit out for about 40 minutes before we put it on the barbecue to smoke, just so that I, we create a film on the surface that the smoke can ad adhere to. I think this is called the pellicle, um, if I'm remembering correctly. So now you can see I'm just drying it really well, and then I'm gonna set it on this wire rack that I have here just to dry out for about 40 minutes. Now I'll show you how I set up my barbecue. So here I have a glass dish full of water. That's my smoke packet that I'll show you how to make in a second. And then for the heat, this is how I have it set up. So I have a three burner stove where the first two are off and the last one is set on. So to make that foil packet, all you need are some wood chips of your choice. Here I'm using hickory and some heavy duty aluminum foil. So first I lay out the foil. I've soaked these chips in water just for about an hour. Um, and once they're thoroughly saturated, then I'll take a couple of handfuls, um, about a third of the mixture, because you're gonna wanna make about three of these foil packets. You'll need to replace them every hour or so during smoking. And then once you have a pile uh, on your aluminum foil, I wrap it up tightly, uh, make sure it's in a nice little log shape uh, so that nothing goes anywhere. Uh, and make sure that this is tight. I'm gonna poke some holes in it later, you'll see, but you wanna make sure that it's tight enough um, so that the chips aren't falling out of your holes. I'm also gonna put a second layer, that's the first one. So here's my second layer of an aluminum foil. And again, this is just to make sure that I don't have wood falling out all over my, uh, my barbecue. 
So here's the first one. I'm gonna make two more just like this with the remaining wood chips. Um, and first one really important thing is to make sure that you poke holes in the bottom. So I'm just gonna poke a couple of holes. That's actually going to allow the smoke to escape. So now we're gonna put this on the barbecue. We're gonna make sure that we put the pork on the side of the barbecue where there is not the smoke packet, so where the heat is not on. And we'll just put all three pieces on there. And throughout the cooking, you wanna make sure that you rotate these pieces. It's gonna take about three hours, and usually I check on this every half hour or so, give them a little flip around. You want your barbecue to maintain a temperature of about 250 degrees. And then you're gonna pull your pork when the internal temperature reaches 150 degrees. So you can see here that it's at 153 degrees about three hours later, and I'm just gonna take it off of the barbecue now. And there you have it, homemade bacon. You want this to cool all the way before you slice it, but then you can enjoy.